Raspberry Pi have released a new version of the Pico, the Pico 2. This is a microcontroller baseboard with a new upgraded microcontroller. The microcontroller is known as an RP2350, which is an upgrade from the RP2040 used on the earlier model. I've not been able to get hold of a Pico 2 yet, although it will probably arrive on the same day that this video goes live. I have managed to buy a Pimeroni Pico Plus 2, which is based around the RP2350 but with additional memory and connectors, etc. For example, the Pico 2 has four megabytes of onboard flash memory, whereas the Pico Plus 2 has eight megabytes pseudo static RAM and 16 megabytes of flash storage. As an update, the Raspberry Pi Pico 2 has just arrived through the post today, partway through making this video. But most of this is based on the Pimeroni Pico Plus 2 anyway, as I've already started working on that. Note that there is currently no W version, that is, that neither of these boards include Wi-Fi, although that is expected in the future as well. The RP2350 microcontroller has a dual-core, dual-architecture capability. It has a pair of ARM Cortex M33 cores and a pair of open hardware Hazard 3 RISC-V cores. You can select the appropriate cores at boot time. There are lots of other new features and upgrades from the original RP2040, but it's really the Hardware 3 that is the main new feature, which is an open source hardware design for the microcontroller. A great thing is that the code can be compiled for either architecture, and when you install it on the board, it will boot into the appropriate core. You could, in theory, even run some code on an ARM core and some on a RISC-V core, although you probably want to use both cores with the same architecture. This isn't the first RISC-V board that I've got. I've already got two ESP32C3 development kits, but they are only a single core and have much less memory than the RP2350. They do include wireless networking, which we're gonna to have to wait a while longer for the Pico 2W. I downloaded the MicroPython UF2 file from Pimeroni GitHub site, copied it to the Pico Plus 2, and then connected through Thony. It shows as a standard Pico in Thony, I tried the sample LED flash program, which just worked straight away. I then soldered on some pins and connected it to the Pico display pack. I tried my tank game code, which I'd created previously, to see if the graphic libraries had been brought over to the new model, and they were. I did find a problem that the button from the Pimeroni module didn't work as expected, but I changed that to the normal machine pin class from the standard MicroPython, and that worked. I figured to really get used to this, then it needs to be programmed to the lower level programming language, such as C or C++. So I installed Visual Studio to my Raspberry Pi 5 using sudo apt install code, and then added the Pico extension, and I tried the example blink program. When opening the example program, there was an option to choose RISC-5 instead of the standard ARM core. But when I tried that, it failed to download the required libraries. So for now, I've just tried the board using ARM. Hopefully this is just a teething problem at the start and that will be updated in the near future. Most of my coding has been with Python lately. In fact, it's been a few years since I've created any substantial amount of code in C. So it'll probably be time that I had to go with some more C code and try that on the Pico too. So hopefully I'll get to add some of that in the future. This has only been a quick introduction to the new board for now but I'll hopefully be working on some new projects in the near future. So if you've not already subscribed, please do so now and click the notification icon to find out about my future videos. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing you on a future video.